Today, we are gonna to be touring Greer Ranch, which is a beautiful guard-gated community in Murrieta. Let's check it out. Hi, Jessica Janung here with Active Realty. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe, the whole thing. Um, also, as with most of our neighborhood tours that we do, down below in the description will be a link to the neighborhood listings that are for sale in the MLS. It'll be real-time information where you can see what's active, pending, and you could even see what's sold if you wanna check on pricing. Let's get to it. Greer Ranch is a beautiful guard-gated Murrieta community and has 693 single-family homes. This community, it's built into the hillside uh, amongst rolling hills, and there are many view lots, and some are very elevated and overlook down upon the Temecula and Murrieta Valley. It has some of the best views in town. Greer Ranch is a popular community for many reasons. It has two guard-gated entrances with private security. High pride of ownership is apparent throughout when you're driving through the community. It has gorgeous parks, and it has really great HOA amenities. Some of these HOA amenities include a beautiful pool and spa with a nice view, a clubhouse, parks, playground, trails, and beautiful landscaping throughout. I don't know if they are still doing these events and activities currently with the whole COVID-19 situation, um, but their website shows that they've had some really fun events in the past, such as Easter events, Christmas, and swim lessons for the kids. Um, I'm gonna link the site down below in the description. According to the HOA website, it claims that Greer Ranch is on 550 acres. So where is Greer Ranch? It's really tucked away and easy to miss as you're driving by, which makes the community have a very quiet and exclusive feel to it. It's located uh, right off Clinton Keith Road in the 215. You drive just about a mile up Greer Road, which is a signal to get to the main entrance. The other entrance is located off Nutmeg Road. It's a little bit further down. This area is part of the Golden Triangle area of Murrieta, or sometimes folks just refer to it as the Triangle. Greer Ranch is very convenient to this shopping center right here, which has my favorite Target in the area. It's a super Target, actually. It's very huge, it has a grocery store, and it's hardly ever crowded, which is why I love it. Also, right across the freeway, the new Costco is being built, which is supposed to open later this year, so that will be very convenient. I have a video about the upcoming Costco project. If you wanna check that out, we're very excited. Another draw for Greer Ranch is the schools. It's located in Murrieta Unified School District, which is a highly desirable school district in the area, and here are the assigned schools at this time. I get comments often from you guys watching my channel that you guys appreciate the pros as well as the cons, so I'm going to get into a couple of the cons about this neighborhood. The first con is going to be the HOA fee. It's currently about $250 a month for the HOA fee, and that is because you have two guard-gated entrances, so you have a lot of staff that you have to pay for. Um, anytime you have a gated community in the area, that's gonna up your HOA fee about $100, and then being guard-gated is going to make it even higher. Um, so to tell you a little bit about these gated entrances, so you have two of them. You have the main one I spoke to um, on Greer Road, and that's the one that most people are supposed to go to. Only visitors have to stop at the gate. The residents, you know, they have a little clicker that they, you know, they don't have to go through um, the guard at the gate. But the other entrance, which is off of Nutmeg Road, that is supposedly the service entrance where vendors are supposed to enter in through that way. Okay, let's touch briefly on the property taxes. I consider Greer Ranch, you know, mostly built around 2004 or so, I would say, um, is in the medium special assessment range. So it's not super low taxes, like some of the older properties before the year 2000, and it's not super high 2% taxes like we see in the new construction. It does have some special assessments, so I call it medium taxes. My next con uh, doesn't exactly apply right here, but when we've been in a normal market, I have noticed, I haven't pulled the numbers specifically, but I have noticed that Greer Ranch is a slower moving community, that the homes, um, they seem to be on the market for more days than your average community in Murrieta. And I'm sure that that has to do, like for, for my clients, when we've been looking in there, they really have to think about, you know, that $250 HOA fee. That is gonna be a barrier for some people that want to buy in the community. So it's gonna 
to narrow the amount of people interested in it. But right now, like I said, it seems like things are, are moving very quickly because it's such a strong market. The last con that we are going to be discussing is the fire insurance situation. There are um, certainly some properties within Greer Ranch that have been rated in a very high fire risk area. Um, this happened to a client of mine that was purchasing a property in there. I believe we closed in January, I think it was. Um, but it, she originally was not going to qualify for regular fire insurance. She was going to have to go through, it's basically like a state run plan is my understanding of it. It's called the FAIR plan where your traditional insurance companies will not insure your property for fire. And when you have to go through the FAIR plan, that is going to bump up your premium easily, you know, $4,000. So it's very substantial. Um, these clients, they lucked out. They were members of USAA and they were able to write the policy, not having to go through the fair plan and have the added expense. So if you're in Greer Ranch or considering that you have access to USAA insurance, that would be a great option for you. We are having some issue with several communities within the Murrieta and Temecula area being rated as high, high fire risk areas and increasing the insurance. Um, Greer Ranch is one of the few track neighborhoods that I have noticed this problem, but it is surrounded by, like I said, it's 550 acres and it's surrounded by a lot of open hills. So that's the issue. Like my client's home, there was the street and then right across from it was like a big brushy hill. And so that's kind of what they're looking at when they're seeing the maps. Um, most of the other communities where you're going to see the high fire insurance are going to be the more rural communities as you get out into La Cresta, the people on property, they're on like five acres or more, lots of brush and preserve out there, Bear Creek, even Temecula wine country, you're going to see um, a lot of higher fire premiums. My personal opinion of this high fire insurance situation is that a lot of the insurance companies have just overreacted to uh, the kind of bad fire years that we've had the past couple years here in California, that um, a lot of them have decided that they don't want to insure a lot of properties in our area and I kind of my personal opinion is that this will correct over time um, and that you know more insurance companies will start uh, insuring the area in these kind of more rural brushy areas again um, or I think that the state of California is going to have to step up and do something uh, you know intervene more with another option for folks that need because uh, everybody needs fire insurance in California it's just a fact. Hey everyone Chris here want to give a quick shout out to my drone guy Michael uh, great footage in the video this week that's the 215 right there Loma Linda University Medical Center on the right that's the hospital I wanted to show you these little foothills little mountains that are behind a uh, Greer Ranch and all these trails so if you've ever noticed when you're coming south on the 215 people park on on that west side and they got all their mountain bikes and everything I've been wanting to know what what they're doing up there I'm not a mountain biker myself, but maybe I'd like to be. Uh, so I asked Michael to just fly the drone around up there and, and show us these trails. And here you come along this um, this west side of this little ridge here, there's Greer Ranch right there. And then again, you see all the trails zigzagging up that hill. Check this shot out. There's a, a radio tower right there that has all those zigzag trails. And I bet if you stand on top of that, you get this big view that we're seeing on the drone. If I didn't tell you it was a drone, maybe you would have thought it was a helicopter. Let me know in the comments below if this is too much drone footage, if it's boring. Uh, I'll also see it on the stats if you, if you all start clicking off. But we'll get back to Jessica in the neighborhood here in a second. Okay, we're gonna roll a little bit more footage of the community so you can see what the street scenes are like and, and check it out a little bit more. I'd pop this map in here real quick to just show you where we are on that shot. 
Let me know if you can actually read that, if that's helpful. Uh, if not, I won't use them in the future. Okay, would love it if you let me know down below in the comments what you think about this community. Is it for you? Do you wanna be in a gated community? Do you find that more of a hassle? Uh, it certainly is a beautiful and popular community. Would love to know what you think. All right, thanks for watching, bye.